brings it across midcourt, looks for Whittington on the right side. Finds it over to Meredith Soper, lines up a three-point shot, and it's good. The Bulldogs are getting off to the start that they won to. They lead quickly 5-0 here over the Bobcats. Can't get the ball to go. Looks like she didn't lost control going up and taken away. Back comes Winnington for the Bulldogs. Stops. 12-foot jumper is good, and Winnington gets the Bulldogs back even here at 12. Not really a scorer, more of a playmaker, but she knocks that one down, averaging just three a game. Here's Douglas driving the lane, gets it off the glass, draws the foul, will have a chance for a three-point play, so the Bulldogs come right back to Soper. A little head fake, tries to drive, gets McQueen to go, and her jumper can't go, but here's Daniel Douglas picks up a nice steal, stealing the outlet pass from Shelby Safera, and she'll go to the line, drawing the foul on Safera, doing a good job of taking what the Bulldog defense will give her, and knocks down that big three-pointer. Here's Hink, nice fat entry pass into Ancoma Mensa, drives hard in the lane, and Ancoma Mensa gets it to fall for the Bulldogs. All game gets that one to go, and Bobcats are up 34 to 21. Here's Schistler on the right side, three point field goal is good. So Schistler with a second three of the ball game. Barron over to Whittington, 10 on the shot clock, gets it down low to Ancoma Mensa. Skip pass over to her. A nice up fake getting Warner to leave her feet. And a nice little jumper there by Brittany Stahura for her first points of the ball game. Here's Lee back guard closely by Whittington. Over to Warner. Near steal and nice steal by Danielle Douglas. Takes it away from Warner. Drives the coast to coast. Lays it up and in and is good. Nice hustle there by Danielle Douglas for the Bulldogs. The Quinnipiac University Bobcats defeat Bryant University 84 to 47. We're now joined by assistant coach John Hogan and coach Hogan I think Quinnipiac flexed their muscles a little bit and showed uh, just how strong they are. A uh, pretty solid team depth wise no matter who came off the bench. Uh, that's, that's a pretty darn good team. Yeah it's um, definitely a good team you know and we knew that coming in and you know they took us out of what we wanted to do offensively you know defensively we had a tough time played zone played man press you know you throw a little bit of everything at them but uh, you know, I mean, it go, all the credit goes to Quinnipiac. I mean, they came out, they played hard, they played well, and they took us out of everything we wanted to do. So, you know, all the credit goes to them. I thought, uh, you know, maybe a little early foul trouble, you know, kind of played a factor in there where you had to kind of go to your bench and you don't want to have a deep bench as it is. Uh, you did a good job shutting down Barron for the most part in the first half, but they just had so many different weapons at McQueen in the middle. It was just a, a monster. Yeah, you know, and Barron is always going to be the first focal point in the scouting report and, you know, worry about her first and then we'll worry about everybody else. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, you know, Quinnipiac is, when you think of a team, they're a team. You know, if one person gets shut down, they have another one coming in to pick it up or somebody coming off the bench. They're just not one player. So, you know, we made a conscious effort on Barron, but, you know, somebody else came up and bite us. <laughs> so, um, you know, again, Great team. They do a good job. Coaching staff does a great job preparing their kids. And, you know, we just didn't have it today, you know. You got a quick turnaround here and a big one on Monday as uh, Central Connecticut comes to town, uh, probably looking for a little revenge. You got a great win uh, out there in New Britain earlier this year. What do you tell your team in the locker room after a game like this? How do you, what do you, what do you tell them back in the locker room? Well, you know, um, with a quick turnaround we play on Monday, it's almost like for the, for the short future, you kind of have to forget about this game. We had to worry about Central. They're going to want to come in and get revenge from when we beat them down there. Now, you don't forget about this altogether. Right. You know, we bring it back maybe Tuesday in practice, and we go <laughs> over what we didn't do. But as far as our focus goes, okay, yes, we, you know, Sacred Heart came in here. They manhandled us. We don't have much time. We do have a winnable game on Monday. We've already beat them once. Like you said, they're going to want payback. So kind of put this on the back burner. We'll come back to it. Believe me, we're not going to let the kids forget about it. But we really have to focus on what's at hand on Monday and then come back to what happened today. Absolutely, Coach. Well, I thank you for joining us here this afternoon for uh, our, our post-game show. But best of luck uh, on Monday against Central. Thank you.